And before I show you this other painting mode, uh, it's important to cover a uh, uh, basic uh, sort of philosophy of traditional pixel art. Uh, most of the time, uh, in the old days, especially because you were dealing with index colors and, and video games would very frequently use palette tricks where they would change specific indices to change different aspects of the character. Um, for instance, maybe you're each playing a uh, different character that's actually the same art, but one guy has red pants and a red shirt, and the other guy has blue pants and a blue shirt. That would be achieved not by having uh, separate art for each character, but for simply by simply applying a different palette to, to the same character art. So, uh, I haven't worried about this yet uh, in the series of videos, um, as you can see in this video, that this large kind of messy palette is just arranged in a, in a very generic light to dark pattern. Um, this is not something that, that a traditional uh, game pixel artist would tend to do. They would be much more controlled in uh, how they create their palette while they're designing the sprite in the first place. Uh, and now I'm going to switch over to another project that's a little further along and more cleaned up, uh, where you'll see a much better example of traditional pixel art um, palette. Uh, you can see that the things are very neatly arranged from light to dark. Uh, dark to light is fine too, but just try to keep them the same uh, for the sake of, uh, of uh, or you'll see later. But, um, and, you know, it's that specific color family. We have the simple character uh, who's simply two different, two different things. You've got the sort of grayish body armor and you have the bluish body part. And uh, you can clearly see that all of the colors for one thing are in one spot and all of the colors for the other stuff, the blue stuff, are in another spot, neatly arranged. Uh, there's no fumbling, there's no guessing in the palette where the next color you need is. Very easy to, to find what's going on. Um, 